Welcome back. Not a lot happening at this moment, as you see, but any minute now, it will be, because it's the final showdown of these European Championships, where the rhythmic and artistic gymnasts get together in teams to see which is the strongest gymnastic nation in Europe. Ukraine against Russia, and the Ukraine's kick off Anna Besanova. And guess what? She's got the clubs. Now, this is how you really behave with a pair of clubs, huh? Or not. Mistake there. As soon as I said that, of course, I knew that was going to happen. It's, it's very difficult to throw the apparatus off your feet. You have to really feel for where the apparatus is going to go. And as soon as it leaves her foot, she would have known that it had gone in the wrong place. These gymnasts drill these exercises so many times, they could probably do them in their sleep. That's two illusion turns there. I think you're required to do three illusion turns now to make it an e-move and you're no longer allowed to put your hands on the floor or your foot on the floor during the middle of the illusion turns. Beautiful pirouette, showing great amplitude. All the balances and pirouettes have to have amplitude. They have to be a fixed shape and be performed on the toe. This gymnast has the most spectacular leaps and jumps. Very nice indeed, apart from the one drop there. Just 16 years of age though, that's all. The youngest of the Ukrainian team at the World Championships back in Osaka in 1999 when she was a, a debutante and she contributed greatly to the team's bronze medal. And definitely one to watch for the future. The Olympic Games in 2004, no doubt, uh, very much in her sights. She'll be a 20-year-old by then and uh, I think definitely somebody to watch out for. She's a very tall and elegant gymnast. 167 meters.